once again. Good morning, class. So, this morning, we're going to study science. We're going to continue our activity last time, which is about the environment. So, are you ready? Okay, I hope everybody's ready. So, I'm now going to start our lesson for today. Before we start to our lesson for today, I would like to show you the vocabulary for this day. So, first is we have hibernate. Hibernate. Migrating, migrating, gills, gills, oxygen, oxygen, and the last one we have photosynthesis, photosynthesis. So these are the five vocabulary that we need to study first before we proceed in your activity. So again, hibernate, number one, number two is migrating, number three, gills, number four, oxygen. Number five is photosynthesis. So, what is migrating? What is migrating? When we say migrating, to move from one place to another place. So, if you move from one place to another, that means migrating. So, for example, in the life of a bird, during winter, the bird migrates to another place. Okay? because they want warm so some birds avoid winter by migrating to warmer places where they can find food and shelter or shelter is a home okay so during winter the birds migrate from their place to another place to find warmer places and where they can find food and shelter okay so again migrating means moving from one place to another to find food and to find shelter okay again when we show shelter it means a home or a place where you can stay next is what is gills what is gills gills is the respiratory organ of the fish it is where they take in the oxygen from the water Okay, so gills is where fish breathe. Okay, so that one is what we call the gills, this one. So this is what we call the gills. Without this one, the fish cannot breathe in the water or under the ocean, for example. Next is what is skin? What is skin? Skin is the largest organ of our body. For example, to us human beings, skin is our largest or is the largest organ of our body because it covers all the parts of our body. But for animals, like for example for earthworm, they use their skin to sense their surroundings. Okay, so earthworms sense their surroundings in the soil by using their skin next is what is hibernate what is hibernate hibernate meaning taking a rest or sleeping for too long to reserve your energy for example during winter most bear or the bear take a very deep sleep or they want to take a rest they don't want to move because they, they are Reserving their energy, okay, in order for them not to get hungry because during winter they can find a lot of food. That's why they need to take a rest or take a deep sleep or let's say hibernate, okay? So hibernate meaning taking a rest or deep sleep. What is oxygen? What is oxygen? When when we say oxygen, it is the gas in the air that we take in to survive, okay? So, oxygen is a gas that surrounds us, that wherein we take this one to survive, okay? It is the gas that we breathe, we breathe in or we take in, okay? And for without oxygen, living things cannot survive especially humans and animals last 
one is what is photosynthesis? What is photosynthesis? So we discussed already this one before. How many times? So when we say photosynthesis, it is a process by which green plants use the energy of the sun to process or make their own food. So this is the process of photosynthesis wherein the roots absorbs water and minerals from the soil and it goes through the stem and then the leaves absorb the energy of the sun and carbon dioxide and then the leaves will process its food which is called glucose or uh, sugar and then it distributes to the different parts of the plant okay at the same time the leaves will produce oxygen after so that is a pro short process of photosynthesis the process by which plants use the energy of the sun to process or make their own food okay understood so let's have your your activity so can you open your workbook on page 13 so on page 13 number 14 you can see this one so what you are going to do here is choose the right word or the correct word to fill in the sentences the following sentences so in letter a fish have gills right i show you already a while ago that fish have gills gills is where they take in the dissolved oxygen from the water so for without their gills they cannot breathe in they cannot survive okay fish have gills to take in the dissolved oxygen from the water letter b some birds avoid winter by migrating to warmer places they can find food and shelter so as what i've said during winter birds move from one place to another to find food and shelter or a place for them to stay so when you say migrating again moving from one place to another so by the moment the birds move from one place to another that is what we call migrating they are migrating okay let us see all living things need blank to breathe so in order for us living things to <coughs> breathe what do we need okay so you choose your answer on the words above letter d plants need sunlight to carry out photosynthesis right so for without photosynthesis plants cannot process their own food letter e during the winter some animals hibernate by going to a deep sleep so again as what i've said hibernate means taking a rest or a deep sleep so most animals like bear during winter they're going to sleep for a long time for them to reserve their energy because during winter they cannot find a lot of food so they need to take a rest okay to avoid being hungry letter f earthworms sense their surroundings in the soil by using their blank okay so earthworm use their blank to feel or to sense their surroundings so choose your answer on the words above so for letter a b and then letter e it was answered already so for letter c d and f that will be your activity okay so kindly do that one on number 14 page 13 on your workbook so that ends your activity class if in case you have any more questions or more questions about our activity today you are free to message me in line and don't forget to send your activity in the afternoon at four o'clock okay so see you again tomorrow and thank you for listening